Hydra's goons are getting a little too comfortable for my liking. I think it's time you took them down a notch. That won't be a problem. Maybe you can give them a lesson they won't forget. You heard the lady. your strength. Lasted five minutes back at Camp Lehigh. Good workout. Target to They're not going to like this. Someone order a knuckle sandwich? I hope you've learned your lesson. Looks like 
they have got help. If you still want it, come and get it. Put this to good use. Who says an old dog can't learn new tricks? Advantage is mine. They look at least.
shall be a great help. Here we go. I'm impressed. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. It's on! Should get the blood pumping. Time to bleed. Leave some for the rest of us. Centuries ago. Good. I could use some more practice. You're doing well so far. They learned their lesson, but we all know that's wishful thinking. Time for book club. You coming? Meet you there. After you. Yeah? Welcome to book club. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize Steve knew the author. I really should have read this when he first asked. If you haven't already, you should welcome... Whenever I read this... Always memorable, when you get to bust up some ghouls in Manhattan. Let's get this started. I am ready. Before we start, I want to welcome Logan to the book club. What did you think of the book? I, uh, didn't read it. Okay then, guess I'll start. Steve, I really enjoyed this book. What stood out to you? I know people have different approaches to leading others, but I never considered what drives them to do so. Take Custer. He led from the front and was mostly loved by his troops, but his drive for personal glory affected every choice he made. Eventually, Custer picked a fight he couldn't handle. His recklessness led to the death of himself and every soldier he commanded. His mistake was making decisions to elevate his own standing instead of his troops. Makes sense. The better they do, the more he gets credit for leading them to victory. I think the biggest lesson, beyond don't be Custer, is that an outsized ego 
is a double-edged sword for a leader. Also, you can't just get through life with a pretty face. I thought you didn't read the book. I didn't, but I picked things up from context. I learned more about George Washington from this book than anything I was taught in school. Yeah, that surprised me as well. Before this, I associated him with statues, paintings, and the dustiest parts of American history. But here we see a military leader whose personal ambition was the victory of his army. He was clear-eyed about his goals and knew how to get out of his own way. Washington led from the top, though he kept counsel with various advisors. Once he made a decision, he expected his subordinates to follow his orders. For less capable people, that sounds far too rigid a way to lead. Yeah, I find it's best to leave some wiggle room. Give your people objectives and the resources to achieve them. More than anyone else in the book, Washington believed true leadership is a contract bestowed upon you by those whom you lead. And that's where the book gets its title. Right. The mantle of authority. It's something that augments you. Which brings us to our final profile. We really don't have to do this one. And now, I'm interested. Steve, how long have you bugged me to read this? Not because of the chapter on me. You all know General Phillips selected me for the Super Soldier program. For a time, he commanded me in the field, and that's why my profile is in the book. He was kind to say I led by example. Maybe that's how it used to be. But the Avengers isn't a military organization. If I gave Tony an order, he'd laugh in my face. To get anything done, I need the group's consensus. I can't give pretty speeches about the need to sacrifice. I have to show that putting in the effort today will make a better tomorrow. It cannot be as simple as you make it sound. Oh, it never is. It's a constant struggle, and you won't always see eye to eye. Still, I find it's absolutely worth the effort. Leadership you can gain, but trust, that you have to earn. But I find little enjoyment in talking about myself, so yeah, let's end it here. All right, we'll call it here. Next month is... Hunter, do you have any books to suggest? None from the past few centuries. Then Logan could pick the next one. Sure. The Adventures of Crash Morgan Number 5, The Last Queen of Deimos. What is that exactly? It's about a space explorer with a ray gun, a jetpack, and a fishbowl helmet. Travels through space with a robot dog. They get in wacky adventures. That's a classic. A buddy of mine had that in basic. I'm always up for space nonsense. I'm not, but that's the book. I'll give it a shot. I'm actually surprised Steve recommended this book. Why? Steve can take a compliment, but he's uncomfortable with praise. Especially from someone he respects. I'm not sure why Logan joined Book Club if he's not going to read the books. You are not required to do so. Come on. It's the principle. What did you think? Well, the punch is decent. But there should have been a bigger spread. What well, I meant, what did you think about Book Club? I just told you. Thumbs up for punch, thumbs down for snacks. Well, at least Logan showed up. You did not think he would. I wasn't sure he'd be in the book club. And I don't know what to expect from that book of his. The name alone has me intrigued. Hmm, <clears throat> maybe you're right. I should learn to roll with the unexpected. You welcomed a resurrected demon slayer into your life. Now we read books together. 
Can't argue with that. When you first joined, I wanted you to keep an open mind about Book Club. I owe Logan the same courtesy you showed me. Good call. You leaving? I should leave. Peace. She's not ready. We ask for too much of her sometimes. I don't want to make her do anything she's not ready for either. But we all know she's the only one who can face him. Is there anyone else here who has the power to do it? Nico, you're a badass blood witch. What about you? I might not be packing as much firepower in the magic department as we're gonna need. Hate to say it, but she is more powerful than me. Like, way more powerful. Plus, she knows what we're dealing with firsthand. It's gotta be her. What if she doesn't want to? We shouldn't make her. Then one of us needs to convince her. I'll speak to her. When the time is right. We will see. So, is it settled? Meeting over? Yes, Robbie. You're excused. You can go back to playing video games. <laughs> Rad. Because I'm about this close to finally leveling up. Bet you cannot do it before Kathani eats your controller. Oh, you know what, Magic? You're on. Well, crap. It's good to punch Hydra in the face, but they feel like a red herring. Okay, a black and red herring, but still. Ready for more? You are going to love this. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. So. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Dr. Strange knows Merlin. I'm still waiting for someone to take this sword. Time's wasting, Hunter. 
we need any advantage we can... Status report on the evac. Hulk tore out the bridges. Roads are gone. No evac happening. We'll get you additional air support. We can fly people out. Uh, that's a negative. Our orders have changed. We're taking a more aggressive stance to secure the country. Secure? You mean you're taking on the Hulk? Roger that. Our squad is moving into position now. No, I told Fury not to launch an assault on Hulk. They're gonna get slaughtered. Listen, Agent... Whatever. This is Tony Stark. You have to call off your assault immediately. The Dark Forces within Banner are only growing stronger with time. Those men are doomed. We are now in attack position. We just don't have a visual on the target. Laying down a perimeter. I'm telling you, get out of there! Wait! There's movement above- <laughs> It's Hulk! Oh god, no! Man, Earth's so bad right now, not even Galactus would eat us. Tell me you found something good. This intel is hot, Hunter. We shouldn't sit on it for- Pick your target, Hunter. I'll do you a favor, just this once. Thanks, Hunter. I hate it when people don't listen to me. I hate it even more when people don't listen to me and good people die because of it. I assume you were speaking of Nick Fury. I warned him, Hunter, multiple times. This isn't the Hulk they're used to. This is something more dangerous. Did he listen? No. Did he think he knew better than me? Of course he did. Do you know how you were going to handle the Hulk? Sure. We figure out a way to avoid getting smashed into paste long enough for you to save him like you did with Wanda. If that fails, we shoot him off into outer space. But I think everyone's done listening to me right now. You still have good ideas. They just have not worked out well recently. Thanks. They say you're only as good as the last time you saved the world. Well, if that's the case, then I've still got a lot to prove. Maybe I should call Reed and see if he's got any bright ideas. Or Xavier. Or even Namor. It has been too long. The Hulk is more deadly than he has ever been. Do not forget that. Believe me, I know. But I can't give up. Because more than anything, I just want my friend back. I can sense the decency behind your every decision. I credit everything to the team around me. Events in Trancia seem to be deteriorating quickly. So this is how it ends. My sister consumes all Transia with demonic energy on my watch. On all our watch. Wait, we aren't just gonna let that happen, right? We have the Skull's God Killer, which may offer some hope against Lilith, but unfortunately, there are other factors at play. Some not so jolly green factors. I doubt the Hulk will ever let us get within striking distance of my mother again. Or Cathan's temple. Hey, I could try fastballing every Stark satellite in the sky at him. Worked once before. Sort of. Why look to the heavens? Showtime. When the answer is right in front of you. Nice entrance. Indeed. Hey, it's the ghost lady. Agatha. Are you? Is this? What the hell is going on here right now? Shh, she's about to get to the good part. The most powerful creature on Earth isn't on Mount Wondergore. She's the witch of Wondergore. And it's time she went home. Stay strong. 
I know how hard this will be for you. For me? Same goes for you, too. Once we take the Hulk out of the equation, there's nothing to stop us from knocking Cthon's temple down to its foundation. I can think of a few hundred demonic entities and Hydra soldiers who may disagree. Just give Wanda whatever support she needs. We have to stop the Hulk. All that time you spent practicing. Hour after hour, trying to control your powers. Well, dear, I think you're finally ready to... Screw it all and let go! out of that monster's, uh, out of Dr. Banner's head. That's not going to be easy. I have done it before. Mother is here to stay, and I cry. Bruce, I know you're in there. Confirmed. You 
made your choice. Here we go. Watch my back. Sending in reinforcements. No more wasted time. Shaking their confidence. abandons Some for the rest of us.
did, eh? Dr. Banner's transformation as one of the Fallen is truly terrifying. I take that as a compliment, Hunter. Never again will I question you. Not who you are. My mother preyed upon your inner turmoil to create this twisted image of what you desired. And she exceeded all expectations. You know what happens when I get angry. feel bad about that one. Say persistence is admirable. You must fall. Adapt to the situation, or risk losing it all. Your time is come. The champion has failed. The darkness flows from you to me. Just the boost I needed. This shall be a great help. assistance. Your fate is sealed.
Hostile reinforcements here. I will not be defied. I can't break free. Coming after me. Consider it done. No mercy for the servants of Lord. Job done. I will not waste this opportunity.
advantage is mine. You are not worthy of her. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. This will not go well for you. Answer for this. This shall be of great help. to focus.
so-called friendship is at an end. Change of plans. Someone order a knuckle sandwich? Now oh, that was something. It's over for you. This is the worst. You know what happens when I get angry. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Still holding their interest. Time to run away, but you better get going.
Resist my mother's call. She deceives you. were a thoughtful touch from mother. getting impatient with you. Welcome assistance. an inch. 
damage. That's your strength. Your corruption will enthrall you. your spider sense that's not fair it has been a long day so if you are going to reprimand me for acting recklessly do it quickly on the contrary i've come here to congratulate you we needed that win we needed it desperately and you delivered it to us i want you to know no matter what happens you should feel proud of yourself for what you did today you put my sister in her place and saved an Avenger while you were at it. You deserve all the kudos you can get. I am just relieved that we were able to uncorrupt Banner and bring him back safely to the Abbey. It's a wonder he's even alive after an ordeal like that. It must have been quite an encounter you had with Lilith. I can see it in your collar. It seems to be on its last legs. I do not want you to worry about me. Well, that's not happening. Have faith it will hold. This isn't the time for faith. It's about to crack in too, and there's nothing I can do about it. The collar you wear around your neck is irreplaceable. This is it. There are no replacements. It took all my ancestral powers to create it for you. Every last drop. There is nothing left. So in case you were ever wondering why I'm not Super Sarah, now you know. I gave up all my powers to protect you. Sarah, I did not know. Your sacrifice... I do not have words to express how much it means to me. You are indeed Super Sarah. You can repay me by doing everything in your power to prevent it from breaking completely. You have my word. Even if I have to use chewing gum in a paperclip, this collar will hold. Not sure if that's making me feel any better, but I appreciate the sentiment. <sighs> I should consult with Agatha in the library. See if there's anything else we should prepare for as the prophecy approaches. I suggest you check in on Banner. I believe he's in the Forge. I have no doubt he'd want to meet the warrior who saved him. Oh, and Hunter, good job today. All right, all right. 
I'd like to make a toast. To Wanda, who not only put Lilith back in her place, but brought back our friend Dr. Banner. More like mopped the floor with him. I know I speak for the rest of the Avengers when I say thank you. We couldn't save the world without you. To Wanda! To Wanda! To Wanda! And the next generation of heroes who've so graciously hosted us, the Midnight Suns. There's hope for the future as long as people like you are fighting for it. Aw, oh, Steve. It just now struck me how relieved I am that Bruce is back here with us. I guess I didn't realize how some part of me must have given him up for lost. Are you going to be okay? Me? I'm feeling better than I have in days. Listen, we've all faced our share of defeats and setbacks lately. And trust me, I know we've got a long way to go before we can call it a night. But right now, I want to let you know how proud I am to be serving alongside you and watching your leadership. That feeling goes both ways, Cap. Your moral character is unparalleled, which is essential in times like this. <sighs> oh, hey. You're gonna make me blush redder than the stripes on my uniform. It appears that when you feel your feelings, they run quite deep. I could go on and on, but I probably shouldn't. There's still so much to do. And not enough hands to do it. At least we gained a couple more. Hands, that is. Four more if you count Bruce and the Hulk as separate people. Hey, Hunter! Come on, let's toast. Didn't you just have one? Yeah, but not with you. Hmm, what should we toast to then? I don't know. There's so much to be happy about right now. You pick. How about a toast to the safe return of Banner back to the Avengers' fold? Right. Let's drink to the guy who treated me like his magical lab rat for weeks. No, Wanda. I want to drink to you saving him. You not only vanquished the Hulk, but you broke the spell my mother had over him. I did really kick his ass, didn't I? And I am sure he is grateful to you for it. Just as stark and strange and... The rest of his friends are. Fine. Let's drink to the Hulk being back with his Avenger pals. May he never go bad banner again. So, how did it feel to face Lilith again? Was it as easy as you made it look? I won't lie, I didn't think I could do it. But you did. Yeah. Feels kind of surreal. Hmm. <laughs> you know who I wish was here right now to celebrate? Who? My dad and brother. I wonder what they would say if they saw me now. Saw who I grew up to be. If I were to guess, they would not care about your power or accomplishments. They would be more interested in your happiness. Then they would be in for a major disappointment. Because I'm not a happy person. <sighs> not by a long shot. You seem in good spirits right now. I am, for the moment. But let's be honest. I am far, far from the perky, well-adjusted sitcom housewife with the 2.5 kids in the house of the white picket fence we idolized growing up in Transia. Those women were happy trapped behind a white picket fence? That sounds like some sort of medieval female enslavement. <laughs> okay, okay, I concede. In reality, no one is that happy. But on the screen... They represented everything happiness was supposed to be, and everything I'm not. Sometimes I feel like I've been cast as too many different characters in my life, and don't really know who I am, or who I'm supposed to be. Am I Wanda Maximoff, sweet-natured orphan from Transia, or the scary Scarlet Witch? <sighs> because hell if I know. Well, if it matters to you, I think the most important role in life you can play is yourself. In your case, just Wanda. I need to figure out who this Wanda is first, before I can play her properly. You will have time for that. 
I mean, you will have time if Cuthon does not consume it first. Ew! He's planning on eating time, too? I heard he was the Elder God with the eating disorder, but I thought he had some taste. He wants to devour everything and redecorate the universe with his image. I'm fairly certain that is the very opposite of having taste. Then we've definitely got to stop him. It's been great knocking back a few, but I should probably finish this drink and find some way to recharge. Fighting your mom really zapped my energy. Besides, I think Nico wants to chat. Get some rest tonight. You have accomplished much today. You too, Hunter. I'm going- Oh my god, Nico. What are you doing? <laughs> Having celebratory drinks with co-workers? Where is Nico? And what have you done with her? She was too emo and gothy, so I traded her in for a happier, peppier model. Like, one of those anarchist cheerleaders. A cheerleader? Things are worse than I thought. Oh, calm down. I'm not cheering for a high school football team. I'm cheering for you and Wanda. You two knocked Lilith on her ass and managed to jailbreak Banner's brain and bring him back. <laughs> you both freaking killed it today. Told you everything would get better once Wanda was back. I just hope the encounter did not take too much out of her. It takes a lot of power to best my mother. I wouldn't worry too much about Wanda. I mean, next to Carol, she's probably the most powerful person here. And if you didn't know that already, it should be Crystal after today. I still never thought I would live to see the day. It's just... <laughs> We're actually starting to feel like a real family. Maybe a somewhat dysfunctional family with a ton of issues to work through, but still a family. Seeing you become closer to your Avengers colleagues brings a smile to my face. You have become more positive, and I welcome the change. Uh, not too positive. Remember, the words family and felony are synonymous to me. Well, here's to this family not committing felonies against each other. Ha! Here's to being cycle breakers. Okay, I've given you enough of my attention and praise. Time for me to give it to my girl Wanda. She did good today. She did. Good talking to you, Nico. You too, Hunter. Pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. I've been making excuses to people for years, trying to reconcile the great things I've done with the terrible things the other guy has done. But this time I have no excuses. I was the worst monster. Not him. Well, well, well. Look who's poking around Santa's workshop. Don't mind us. We just wanted to make sure you were getting cozy at your new haunted home away from home. I guess this is where the yelling starts. Nobody wants to play the blame game. Correct. We are here to welcome you back, Bruce. Not to yell at you. Yeah, and to figure out what we need to do if we're going to face Lilith. Hopefully Bruce has some first-hand knowledge that could help us. Uh, Wanda, I... There's no need for apologies. You're back now. You're home. That's right, feel the feels later. Right now, it looks like Bruce could use a little help. All I have are ideas right now. Lots of ideas. And no clue how to get started. Uh-oh. Doc, know what this means? Could this really be? Oh, you know it. Time to pull an old-fashioned Avengers all-nighter. Uh, I haven't had one of those since we had to brainstorm ways to smash Ultron sentries a few years back. I remember that. Good times. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. I have so many ideas. We just need time and focus to pull them off. Check back with us in the morning, Hunter. We will have something to share then. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Definitely gonna be an all-nighter.
Can't thank Wanda enough for giving Bruce the old come to the light treatment. I know it's a lot to take in, but you'll get the hang of it. Next time, how about we do this on the actual moon? We could, but you might need to hold your breath. You could hold it for me. <gasps> Hi, Hunter. We were privately discussing strategy. Well, they have a bet going as to whether or not you... What is the phrase Nico taught me? Ah, yes. Moonwatch and chill. Ghost Rider or not, Robbie is a dead man. Again. I'm gonna wrap Peter in a cocoon and roll him down a few off-world mountains. Everyone's getting a stake with their name on it. Hunter, I'm saying this as a friend. Get lost. Hunter, if you don't get out of here now, I'm gonna stake you. Leaving. Go away.
This crisis truly is worldwide in scope. You finally figured that out, did you? Just like you wanted. The smog in LA was bad. Yeah, I don't think we should be breathing this air. It's gamma radiation. It's fine to breathe, as far as I know. Yes, but it gives the sky quite a beautiful tinge of color, doesn't it? Like the sky before a storm. Anyone want to tell me what I'm looking at? The storm is almost here. And so is the midnight sun. The prophecy is almost complete. Kathan is making his way into our dimension. Not if I have anything to do with it. Let's go inside. We have work to do. No pain, no gain. Let's see him try to handle me now. And it was glowing this way when you walked in here? Yes, it's like something flipped it on. As if it's preparing for the midnight sun. I think that's precisely what it's doing. It knows its owner is coming back to pick it up, and it wants to look good. Yes, that's an excellent way to put it. I know a thing or two about magic artifacts, especially if they're swords. So I have observed. Perhaps when we take a breather, you can explain to me exactly how your portal spell works. It appears to be quite effective. You want to talk shop? You got it. But watch yourself. I might end up becoming the Sorcerer Supreme one of these days. I don't feel threatened. In fact, nothing would make me happier. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? This is some of my best work. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quick. Here, if you need me. Time to take it to the next level. Hunter, we should, uh, I should speak with you about what you did to me. Is that an accusation? Of course not. Uh, I am grateful, of course. It has been so long since I've thought for myself. I was so focused on understanding what was happening with the Hulk. That obsession was how I stumbled onto, to her. 
And by then it was too late. I always thought myself capable of... Well, does it even matter? I made a choice, and the world paid for it. The Hulk is not to blame for once. All this destruction was the work of Bruce Banner. Bruce, Lilith's influence is supernatural. You cannot fault yourself for succumbing. No, I will not be absolved of this. I sought her out, not the other way around. Did you know what you were seeking? Well, no. But the result was the same. I can still sense her, you know. Even though you freed me from her influence, she still resides in my head. How? I remove the stain of Lilith's corruption. My irradiation keeps me attuned to her thoughts and feelings. Not all of them, but enough. At this moment, her excitement grows as the prophecy nears its end. Does the link go both ways? Does your presence threaten the Abbey? The Abbey is open to her, Hunter. She can breach it whenever she desires. That cannot be possible. When Wanda chased you and the others through Limbo, she pierced the Abbey's barrier. That was all Lilith needed to enter. If she has known that long, why not attack the Abbey directly? Haven't you figured it out? She doesn't want to win. Explain your theory. I already told you I can... Pardon the simplified expression. Read her mind. This isn't theory. These are her thoughts. Whatever her plans entail, they involve more than just killing the lot of you. Of a... of us. <clears throat> Dr. Banner. Please, call me Bruce. Bruce. In all the time I have known you, I realize how little I know about you. Would you mind telling me about yourself? Not at all. My life is an open, irradiated book. May I ask you about the Hulk? Of course. When did you first transform into the Hulk? Years ago. I worked on a device based on Howard Stark's original Gamma Accelerator. There was an accident. And I soaked up so much radiation I should have died on the spot. Instead, it unleashed a green-skinned manifestation of rage from within me. When I came to my senses, I realized what I'd become. I knew I couldn't be around people. To lose control like that? It still terrifies me. Yet, when I become angry or subjected to intense pain, Bruce Banner retreats for the duration. Are you and the Hulk different people? Or is he an aspect of your personality? I've heard contradictory conjecture from hundreds of experts. You see, I'm psychologically fascinating. Everyone has a pet theory. At this point, I think of the Hulk as a different person. Yet I also take full responsibility for his actions. It's... Well, it's why I betrayed him so deeply by working with Lilith. I'm supposed to be the responsible one. In a way, I'm his keeper. He doesn't really understand what happened, but... I decided on his behalf, like I always do. And very nearly killed his friends. Does the Hulk have any thoughts about Lilith? He finds her... <clears throat> There's some... Attraction. The Hulk has the hots for my mother? Yes, but he remembers she tried to hurt his friends. That makes him angry. And for the Hulk, anger always wins out. I had questions about the Avengers. Go ahead. What led the Hulk to join the Avengers? The way Tony tells it? They spent so much time stopping the Hulk from destroying cities, they offered him a job so they could keep tabs on him. But really, they need Bruce Banner. 
Yes, the Hulk is good to have around when Ultron attacks or scrolls invade, but my expertise gives the Avengers a crucial edge. And what is that? I plan ahead, develop contingencies and worst-case scenarios, solve impossible equations. I'm the only one who thinks it all through. Well, I was. What do you think of your fellow Avengers? Before all this, the Hulk and I respect Steve. Strange is fine, but he can aggravate the Hulk. Carol and I don't see eye to eye about where the Avengers should focus our efforts. Still, we're friends outside of work. Plus, she knows how to make Hulk laugh. And Thor? I always appreciate his crass charm. The Hulk likes him because he doesn't need to pull his punches when they're play fighting. What about Tony? Ah, Tony. He knows full well the Hulk can reduce him to a fine soul's of mist. Yet he constantly pokes and prods. You'd think he was trying to provoke me. But we both respect him for that. He treats us like any other person. He knows what we are, and he's not afraid. Will the Avengers forgive you for what you did? Hmm... Usually I wake up to discover what terrible damage the Hulk has caused. The team always understood and supported me in their way. This... It's a very different situation. You ask if they will forgive me? I don't know if they should. But... Is it possible? It's possible. But if so, it won't be soon. Nor should it be. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Hunter. I... It took me far too long to find my place. I'm glad it was, um... I'm glad it was here. Hunter, we need to talk in the forge immediately. The slumbering giant beneath the darkest of holes. Does slumbering giant refer to Banner, Kathan, Wanda, or D, all of the above? Option E, for other. What? After your third or so apocalypse, you never know what's going to come out of left field at the last second. Either way, hell's coming. Hells are always coming, Blade. There's no just one hell anymore. I gotta go check in on Ant-Man and MJ. And maybe the rest of the neighborhood. I don't know, Queens? No, Spider-Man. The more hell we keep focused on us, the less hell there is everywhere else. We're holding Lilith's attention to keep others out of harm's way. We can't split up now. Okay, everyone just said different things to me and... I'm not sure which one to respond to. How about we change topics to this? I think it's safe to say that... Maybe we got this... is a safe thing to say. That was a long walk with a lot of caveats. Bravo for that, Nugget, Ghost Rider. Pete, how many times I gotta tell you? Do not sit on the hell ride! You look cool, calm and collected, considering the circumstances. Keeping a cool head is kind of my thing, but you know that. I'm telling you, Hunter, I don't know what's coming next, but I do know when the shit hits the fan with Kathan, there's no other place I'd rather be than parked right here with my friends. I could not think of a more honorable band of heroes to spend the end of my days with myself. Same. We gotta make the most of the good times while we can. Because when the shit gets unreal, we might not have any time left. Both you and Blade seem rather unfazed about the imminent invasion of this dimension by a homicidal Elder God. Oh, this is not the worst Armageddon scenario I've lived through. Just how many have you been through, Carol? You mean the end of this world, or are we talking other planets too? All of the above. Let's put it this way. I lived through a time literally called the Age of Apocalypse. That sounds rather stressful. It was. 
But there comes a point in every cataclysmic event when you just have to let go and, I don't know, roll with it. All you have to do is be ready to fight for what you care about when the time comes. I will stand ready to fight for life, then. And when I say life, I mean Charlie. That dog is totally adorbs. Well, half dog. What is he? A demon dog? I believe the breed is technically called a hellhound. Right. Well, I'm fighting for my fur baby, too. Call me a crazy cat lady, but I am not going to let some hangry elder god eat Chewy. Or your dog. Not on my watch. You must all draw a line in the sand somewhere. Pet eating is definitely mine. <sighs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't worry about what you can't control. You'll face Lilith soon enough. What should I do between now and then? How you spend your possibly last moments on this version of Earth is your choice. I, for one, have always been curious about what's really under the hood of Robbie's ride, and tonight, I'm determined to find out. The best way for me to help Aunt May, MJ, everyone back home is to be here. But being here, I just wish I was back with them. They worry about me. But the only way to ensure nobody gets hurt is to throw myself at the big, scary, Lilith-shaped problem. We are Defenders. No way! You were in the Defenders, too? Doctor Strange recruited me once, but he told me it was a secret. We were secret Defenders. Oh, wait. Does that mean I shouldn't have told you? No, oh, pretend I didn't say anything. It is not easy, Peter. With or without a mask, people worry about us. And we worry about them. Sounds about right. I just wish I could warn them, you know? Something. I'm not even sure Demonic Horde is the appropriate term. I gotta ask Nico for a refresher on occult terminology. How do you feel about taking down an Elder God? Fleeing in terror isn't an option. I can never show my flame in school around other spirits of vengeance again. And are you prepared for the less desirable scenario where we do not make it? Nope. I'm in complete denial. It's gonna go like this. Save the world, go home, give my brother a big hug, throw a barbecue for the neighborhood. Do you not have greater aspirations? Trust me, after you defeat a deity, you will be hungry for your next challenge. I'll be pretty content if we don't die. You are capable of more than being content. Mental health is important, Hunter. I gotta reduce my stress back to pre-apocalypse levels. And how are you passing the time until our big moment? I tuned the Hell Ride for the fourth time. I read the last page of all my comics just in case. And, uh, you know, trying to be chill before my head catches fire. Maybe I should do a fifth tune-up. The fifth time's the charm. Shield saying the green skies are just a normal atmospheric event? This is not an Avengers level threat. I don't remember being consulted on that decision, do you, Steve? After this, I am so done with clandestine quasi government organizations. Cover up or not, we have to present a united front and follow Fury's play. Yeah, hard pass. We gotta tell the world the truth, or we lose the trust of anyone with a camera or access to social media, which, last I checked, is the population of Earth. Woof. I've been there. Nobody cares about the truth. Nobody believes a primordial god is about to wake up and devour the universe. We believe it. Because you've seen it, Rogers. But I remember calling the Avengers hotline with the same story and getting nowhere. Everyone laughed at me. Well, not everyone. 
I still haven't heard back from Cloak and Dagger. This is no time to quibble over PR statements and cover-ups. Nico's right. We can contradict S.H.I.E.L.D. and tell the truth, but most people aren't going to buy it. Save the damage control spin for after we banish Cathan. If we banish Cathan. I'm at a loss, Wanda. Hydra is everywhere right now. People are dying at their hands. Yet no one is about to unleash Cathan. I honestly don't... So, the Midnight Sun has arrived. Despite our best efforts, threatening to end the lives of millions. And Cathan is threatening to consume the whole planet, ending even more. Yes, I know. But as Wanda so compassionately pointed out, there are people in desperate need of help out there. Our help. It's my strong opinion we should save as many souls as possible before confronting Lilith. I agree. Life is too precious. We must save everyone we can. I thought you'd agree. Hydra is everywhere. Where should I go first? That's up to you. But I do want you to bring Banner. He needs to get back out there, get some wins, before our final showdown with Lilith. Ever since I learned of the Hulk's existence, I've dreamed of fighting side by side with such a warrior. Well, now is your chance. I will leave the final decision to you, but you know my opinion. Oh, and Hunter, happy hunting. Don't just stand there. There are lives out there that need saving. Bunazua. Our time has almost run out, Hunter. If we're ever going to find out what this god killer can do, Tony and I need to start researching it now. I know you and Tony will be able to find something helpful. Because the alternative is too grim to consider. All right. Then let us find out what this god killer is all about. Excellent. You know what to do at the anvil. Please get us started, Hunter. Farewell. Hydra has a remote server attached to one of their squads in this area, and they've been using it to store communications data captured on the nearby consoles.
plans. If we can install Carol's script on those consoles, it will do the hard work for us. Assuming we can keep Hydra from blowing up the server first. Hope follows orders. over for you. after me. data. Excellent. 
excellent work out there. down for a last movie before the end of the world? Um, yes. Let me log into Piotr's WatchMax Plus account. We did this at Xavier's once. Had Ride of the Valkyrie stuck in my head for a week. It was fine till the Sentinels attacked. Then, it was cool. Why do all the talking kitten cartoons have five hearts? Oh, Piotr, you big softy. Okay, the movie we're watching tonight is none other than Summer Camp Tango. Me and Maria rehearsed every move in this film. Yeah, my cousins forced me to watch it every summer, so I'm very much into this idea. Oh, hey. Hunter, want to watch a bad 80s movie with us before we face a hungering elder god? Entertainment on the eve of battle? Yes. Yay! For fun! Ileana keeps the limbo fully stocked, so refreshments are a portal away. Just ask. Quiet, quiet! Here we go. Clint and Natasha always reference the slobs against the snobs. Never understood what it meant. Until recently, it could have been the Midnight Suns against the Avengers. That makes Tony the snob. And Nico is definitely the slob. Eh, I'll own it. Do not apply logic to a crappy 80s movie. Hey, I didn't say anything about the shape-shifting aliens plan to judge the dance contest. I just want to know how the slobs plan to push that much chili through the sprinkler system. With enough pressure, you can push chili through anything. Don't ask me how I know that. Ugh, of course the head counselor is a Russian spy. Yup, it's an 80s movie. How much did Soviet Russia care about teen hijinks? More than you think. Now that's a dance contest. Okay, I see the appeal. Ah, uh, it's magical. Magic is the one thing this movie didn't have. But you liked it anyway because it is heartwarming pablum. Maybe. Buona zua. You recognize this place, don't you, Hunter? This... This is where I killed... Your mother? Yes. And gave up your own life to do it. You made so many sacrifices to put Lilith to rest then. I'm just sorry you have to go through it all again. I do not mind sacrificing myself for others. I know. That's what makes you so special. Besides, if I do die this time around, I know you will be waiting for me on the other side. And I will be, if it comes down to that. But I don't think it will. Why would it be any different this time? Because everything is different now. You won't be facing Lilith alone this time. You have friends who will fight by your side. I did not have friends in my last life. I'm glad you got to live again to make them. The friends you made here won't let you die this time. You cannot assure that. 
No, not for sure. But I like your chances. You should speak to Sarah while you're here. She loves you like her own child, you know. We both do. I see you've spoken to Agatha. I have. I couldn't help but overhear some of your conversation. She's right, you know. Things are different this time. I won't make the same mistake I did last time by sending you into battle against my sister alone. I tried my best to prepare you then. But now I understand how I failed you. I isolated you, trained you to become what I wanted you to be. And I lost you because of it. I am proud of my sacrifice. Well, I'm not. I treated you like you were just a weapon. But you're more than that. More than the Hunter. You're the only child I had. Ever will have. Just promise me, I won't lose you again. You need to know this. I always thought of you as my real mother. I love you too. God, I don't think I've been this emotional in years. Well, I ought to let you get back to your night. There's an abbey full of people who are waiting for you. Best to get to them before it gets too late. Good night, Sarah. I'll see you in the morning. The sky has changed its hue to that rather radioactive shade of green. That's what it looks like when the veil between two dimensions begins to bleed together and become one. Almost like a sunset. The sun is about to go down on this dimension. And all will go... Hunter, I am scared. I don't want to face him alone. You are not scared. You are just trying to play on my better nature. You think me insincere? After all I have done for you. All you have done for me is put me in a casket. That's not true. I sold my soul for you. You what? It's the truth Sarah and Agatha have been hiding from you. They wanted you to hate me. So they kept the sacrifice I made for you a secret. More lies. They would never do such a thing to me. They would. And they did. Why would you sacrifice your soul for me anyway? Because you would have died if I didn't. A human and a member of the Blood never had a child together before. You were the first. You were so sick. I was told you weren't going to survive. So, I made a deal with him. Your life, in exchange for my soul. I gave up everything for you. My humanity. My soul. My life. Why can't you stand by my side? You know I cannot betray those who have grown to trust me. I thought you might say that. I just want you to know that when you fail, my offer will still stand. Do me no favors, Mother. Why won't you accept how much I love you? 
I know you believe it, but I fear your love is a poison. Oh, child. The world is poison. I am its antidote. You cannot stop us, Mother. I will face you. You always have. One can get lost in thought staring at such a force of nature. Storms come and go, ships wrecked, and men lost. But the ocean persists. Something on your mind, Captain. What do you make of our chances to get out of this mess in one piece? Are you worried, Captain? I want to say, not in the slightest, but... There's no point in lying to you, Hunter. I can say that I'm not as worried as I used to be seeing how far you've come. I want you to know I'm proud of you, Hunter. You've become a leader I would gladly follow into the heat of battle no matter how high the flames. You can congratulate me on my leadership skills after all this is over. If we are still standing. Based on what I've seen so far, my gut tells me we will be. You've got to appreciate the irony. The kid of the Mother of Demons is the one that will lead us to victory. Central is ready to work. Central will crack the code. I'm not gonna sleep well after reading this. I asked Tony if he had any material on encryption, and he left me this pile of spell books. Something tells me Doctor Strange is probably looking for them. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. Bye. What's up, Hunter? I'm quite pleased with these results. Let's get to work.
Sometimes, I even impress myself. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting.
See you, Hunter. Strange knows Merlin. I'm still practice makes perfect. Ultra stronger. Danger room. Eat your heart out. Hey, fellow nerd. Read anything good lately? Just in case you were looking for another opportunity to even the score with Hydra, I think these clowns are hoping for a fight. So, you bit the wrong one, bud. Make way for vengeance. Nice work. Engaging. Speed. Restore our strength. That must have taken practice. Get can 
first. Is that the best you've got? Prepare yourself. <laughs> Looking good for you. Felt this good in you. Roger that.
One problem out of the way. who failed at a boot camp. A Hydra officer. They haven't changed their minds yet. Hope they're ready to go. I don't think they even realize the trouble. Let's settle. You look like you needed a break. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. Hey, boss. I could use some help. Shop class is supposed to meet tonight. So, just the two of us? Actually, when I asked Parker, he mentioned you stopped by. Said he could convince Robbie if I could get you to show. I'm sure everyone has something to say. Maybe. But... I already said too much. I have to fix this. We should not keep them waiting. Time to face the music. So, what did you want? A do-over? And to, uh, to apologize for the last time. It's a nice sentiment, but a do-over doesn't have much appeal for either of us. Yeah, I don't understand why we should keep giving you chances. You shouldn't. Not if you don't want to. But hear me out, okay? I've been the person in charge for years. When I'm stressed, I can steamroll people who never expected it, and certainly don't deserve it. That's what assholes say. To justify their behavior so they can keep being assholes. Half of the Avengers agree with you. Look, nothing I did was justified. I was a jerk. And I'm sorry. Okay? Look, when you take away all the trappings of ungodly wealth, I'm just a guy who likes to make things. None of my friends were into this stuff. I was the only kid who saw beauty in exhaust manifolds, who spent hours poring over the guts of a microprocessor. That's all I want here, to make things with friends. As long as that's still an option. That's the whole idea behind this? Okay, here's how we make this work. Tony Stark, CEO, is banned from shop class. But making things, Tony? The guy we're talking to right now? He can stay. That's more than fair. Glad that's over with. Feuding with Tony Stark is not an achievement I care to unlock. So, how about we make something new? Another day for retooling. We have a few more ideas in the backlog if you want to check them out. I finally have a use for the components you handed me. I'm ready to put this together. How about you? Just a moment. No rush. 
Took Tony long enough to figure out shop class, huh? I thought his suit had the thicker skull. I always believed Tony would do the right thing. That's where we differ. But I'm glad to be wrong. I'll let you get to it. Parker can't wait to dive in. Well, that was less painful than expected. Thanks for coming, Hunter. We all needed to, uh, clear the air. I'm ready to put this together. I am ready. I think that was our best work. Everyone did their part. I'm ready to call it a night. How about you? Give me a minute. You got it. Parker's creative drive is amazing. Seeing how he tackles a problem gives me ideas of my own. And Robbie has the right intuition when it comes to putting these prototypes together. I thought he was being overcautious, but that's a crafter's care. Wish I'd seen it earlier. Look, I don't want to brag, but I think this is our best work. Yeah, I know, blah blah, teamwork, blah blah blah, but still, it's impressive what we can do when we all work together. You know, I might stay for a bit more. I want to finish an adjustment to the Hell Ride. You ready to leave? I am ready to go. die. That's what I've always said. I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter. Did Sarah ever tell you how we first met? Let me guess. A friendly conversation in a library. Eventually. But first, we faced each other in the Abbey Grounds, prepared to do battle. I cannot see the two of you as anything but old friends. Our relationship is typically warm and collegial, except for that day when it was cold and martial. You see, I'd stumbled upon the Abbey despite its many wards. The stink of the dark hold drew me to your resting place. As I attempted to locate that vile tome, Sarah nearly took my head off with magic as old as the world. She thought me a sorcerous scavenger come to exhume you. Her opening strikes are rarely evaded. I'm glad her first salvo missed. As am I. You are both wonderful company. I would hate to have missed out on it on account of death. So how did your face off end? Agatha arrived, asked why we were standing with arms outstretched like fashionable zombies, and invited me in for tea. This I can imagine. One arched eyebrow ended a sorcerer's duel. For all my mystical metal, Agatha was at times the strongest of us all. I shall fondly await our next outing.
I'm here if you need me. My lucky day. Back again. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. I am done with all this mysterious secrecy business. And you have got to get over it too. Got more coil for me? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Oh, and I was just about to see that Now, this is magic. Farewell. Tony and I have been researching this god killer as best we can. We've been limited by what's available to us here in the Abbey. I should hope you have found something by now. Well, um, the fact of the matter is that I have. It's a bit troubling, to tell you the truth. I really need to double-check my findings. There are a few more scrolls I should consult. If you are not ready to share information with me, then I trust you to let me know when the time is right. I appreciate your confidence in us. However, I fear the time may never be right. Perhaps I should tell you now. I suspected this blade had a connection to Cathan, but I didn't realize how... Uh, intimate that connection truly was. I am not sure I like where this is going. I feel unclean even saying these words, but the God Killer wasn't just made to fight Kathan, it's made of Kathan. I'm sorry, this is somehow worse than I was expecting. Could you repeat that? The ancient texts tell of Kathan's last appearance in our plane when the forces of humanity assembled to drive him back, and in doing so, they sliced off part of the Dark God. That part was lost to the ages, until now. It has resurfaced, now forged into a weapon. The God Killer. Incredible. Part of me feels we should throw it into the forge right now and wash our hands of it completely. And throw it away so quickly? When we barely understand it or what it could do? You're right, I'm only speaking about my feelings on the matter. Whatever this weapon can do, we need to know. It may be our last hope. I feel drawn to it. Like it wants me to pick it up. I suspect you're the only one who could do it. Every attempt I've made to touch it has not gone well. I knew it. I knew you were holding back something. I had intended to consult with Hunter privately before telling the whole team, but yes, now you know. I suspected it was part of Cathar. You don't normally encounter daggers that immediately make you feel like you want to throw them far out to sea. But if you feel like picking it up, go on. I can feel the power of it. Rising and falling. Like it is breathing. I could use something like that as a nightlight. A weapon like this is not to be trifled with. I think we're very lucky that Red Skull kept it buried away as deep as he did. What, was he socking it away for a rainy day? He probably thought he could use it to kill Lilith. This world's only big enough for one psycho-narcissist tyrant, I guess. And now it is ours, and let nothing stand in our way. Of course. Never mind. I'll knock it off with the mysterious stuff. Just come out and say what's on your mind. 
It's entirely possible Lilith could have an entirely different use for the God Killer. She could use it to complete Cathon. Well, that changes things. Hunter, I need you in the war room as soon as possible. What brings the great Hunter to... I am impressed with your understanding of the Arcane. Thanks. I do enjoy flattery. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. We're almost there, kiddo. Finish what you need to finish, while there's still time. I will let you know when I am ready. <laughs> 